Today I'm going to show you how to make your own taco seasoning. I like making my own taco seasoning because it's cheaper than when I would purchase a package at a store and I'll get a whole lot more of it. I can also control what ingredients go into it. So this makes sure that my family is not consuming too much sodium, which can often come in those packaged products. And also if we like certain flavors, my family likes a little more spicy food, so I'm gonna add some more cayenne to my seasoning blend. So I like making it because I can customize it based on what I like. This is a fun activity to do with your kids, asking them to give the spices a smell, uh, see if they like the smell and if they want to put more or less in there, and just really getting them connecting with all of the senses while cooking. It's a great way. So I'm gonna start out with my chili powder. It calls for two tablespoons. So, for my, sp uh, my herbs and my spices, I'm just gonna measure directly over the container that I'm mixing in. This is because if there's a little bit more or less one flavor, it's not going to make a huge difference uh, in the taste. And I know I'm gonna use up all of this so it won't be a wasteful addition. All right, then it calls for one tablespoon of cumin. If you're baking or something like that where precise measurements matter, or if you're adding salt to something, make sure that you're measuring outside of the dish that you're mixing in. Because those are things where if you add too much, it can really affect your end product. All right, so there we go. Cumin was a little bit packed down. There's a little bit more than extra, but sneak a little bit back in. All right, and then I'm gonna need one table, or one teaspoon, excuse me, of onion powder. Got that right here. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm trying not to double dip my measuring implements back into the spice jars. If it's a clean one, I'll put it in, but for the rest of them, I'm just trying to pour it out on them. You could use, if you have multiple measuring spoon sets, you could use different ones, um, or you could wash them in between uses. <laughs> you know, my method's not working out really well for me right now, but it prevents me from having to do more dishes, so. I'm willing to take this risk. All right, so that was my garlic. Then I'm gonna add in one half teaspoon of my crushed red pepper. All right, so since I mentioned before, my family likes spicy food, so I'm actually gonna do two of those in there. A half a teaspoon of oregano. That was that first one I opened up over here. And then a little bit of cayenne pepper powder for a little bit more spiciness. And so I just kind of eyeball it, just do a few shakes. I'm gonna do a little bit of black pepper as well. Again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. maybe about eight cranks or so. It's probably about a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon, somewhere in between there. So you can see this taco seasoning recipe is very flexible. If you are missing one of the spices or feel free to smell your other spices, see if there's one that smells kind of similar or you think would taste good, or just go ahead and omit it. There is a ton of flavoring in this already. So you don't need to be worrying if you're missing one or the other. This is just a really great starting off point. Okay. So there I have my seasoning mix.